For what profit the man to gain the whole world? Only to lose his soul. What profit is it? To gain this whole world and to lose your soul. And that's why the Bible says, do not love this world. I'm a living witness that you can overcome. You can overcome right now. Walk away from this evil entertainment. Some, some of you, you've already heard God tell you to trash your music. Trash your music. Trash all of your secular music. And obey the voice of the Lord. You know who you are. Many of you, God has told you to trash these movies and TV shows and stop watching this stuff. Because I'm, I'm going to tell you something. As I begin to draw closer to the Lord, when I, even when I'm on spiritual apps and an advertisement might uh, be shown and it might be a worldly movie, a worldly TV show, I, I begin to get sick. Immediately, I just feel really grossed out in my spirit. I'm like, ugh. This stuff is just disgusting and vile. That is evidence of spiritual growth. And many of you have are starting to feel that way. Those things of this world, that TV shows and this music, you, you, you start almost feeling so grieved and just disgusted because you are beginning. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Because you are beginning to hate sin. And that is what is happening. And there are some of you who are questioning and you're thinking within yourself, what is happening to me? You're drawing closer to God. Those prayers that you've prayed for deliverance, they're beginning to blossom. Hallelujah. Those prayers that you prayed and you meant it from your heart when you ask God to draw to draw you closer to him. You ask God to cast out sin and, and worldliness and lukewarmness and religious spirits out of your life. Now you're starting to take on the likeness of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I feel that in my life also. I'm beginning to get disgusted with this world, with this evil things in this world. You know, when I'm in the, the uh, kitchen cooking, I'm screaming spiritual music, spiritual warfare music. And thank God for those channels who have really good spiritual warfare music. Thank God for those of you who have not um, uh, discovered this channel. It's called his, his name is called Kyle Love It. Worship music, he has an amazing channel of spiritual music. And this is just my own opinion. Um, do, do your own research. His name is Kyle Lovett. I love his spiritual channel because he really has some powerful anointed spiritual music. Amen. And, and I stream that in my house. I stream that, you know, when I'm cooking. I stream that when I'm praying. I stream that, you know. Because you want to feel the atmosphere with that. I understand the struggle. And I want you to know that God loves you. He loves you very much. But we are going to have to walk away from, from this world. And that dream was very concerning. Because if I look at the beginning of that dream, everything looked at normal. That, that movie clerk, you know, was looking very friendly at first. Very friendly. Very hospitable. And they turned to a demon. That's deception, y'all. And that's what the enemy does. And he's really crafty at this. And this is why the enemy can pose as an angel of light. And that is quite frightening to our natural man. That the enemy can pose as someone that has good interest only to be full of poison and destruction. If you're not careful. But that is what I love about that verse in the book of Malachi. That now once we return. That we will be able to discern who is of God and who is not. Only through spiritual discernment. Spiritual sensitivity. And a hunger for holiness. Having a relationship with God. Genuine repentance on a daily basis. Prayer, fasting, Bible study. Can we overcome the deceptions of the enemy? And that is why the Bible says, for behold, God has given us the power to tread over serpents and scorpions and all of the power of the enemy and nothing by shall no means harm us. We have authority over these evil spirits of the enemy. We have authority over the enemy to deny ourselves these things. 
You, you can overcome the, the devices of the enemy right now. I want to tell you, I'm a witness of this. Walk away from the evil pleasures in this world. Walk away from these evil TV shows, these evil movies. Walk away from it. And you will feel a power in your, your life. Now, so many of you, you're going to go through withdrawals in your flesh at first. Because anytime you fed your flesh something for so long and you begin to uh, choose to obey God, you're going to go through a moment where your flesh is going to kick and scratch because it, it wants you to watch that filth. But if you keep going and stand firm in the obedience of God, hallelujah, you will be able to overcome. My soul now, at this point of my faith, my soul feels just pure. It feels clean. All that filth and junk and secular music. You know, and this is where the enemy does. He he wants you to compromise and say, well, there's no profanity in it. It's, it's TV 14. And that's what he does. He loves to justify. He wants you to justify and second guess what God told you not to touch. And I get it. It's going to be very difficult to your flesh. And the Bible talks about that. The spirit and the flesh are contrary to each other. Both of them fight for position in your life daily. The flesh wants position in your life and the spirit wants position in your life. And that is why it is a daily fight. What happened Friday means nothing anymore. What happened Thursday means nothing. It's over. All we can worry about is today. Let this be the day that you let go of the evil pleasures in this world. Because that dream I had is confirmation. It's confirmation. That this evil entertainment will lead to spiritual failure. And this is why we must be sober. Glory to God. We must be sober, y'all. Can you imagine the rapture taking place? And you're watching that filth? I mean, people. <sighs> I'm grieved in my spirit because the religious system and these lukewarm grace preachers are seducing and teaching people to live below the standard of God. The Bible says, be ye holy for I am holy and be ye holy in our manner of conversation. The Bible talks about we should live righteous and godly in this world, people. There's too many of you who are living below the standard of God and I'm concerned. Now, there are some of you who are in position and alignment with God. I thank God for you. Continue to run. Run to God. Run from this evil world and do not look back because it isn't worth your, your, your soul. But some of you are not ready. If God was to come back today, some of you would make it and some of you wouldn't because some of you are not ready. You're living below the standard that God wants you to be. Yes, God loves us. Yes, grace and mercy is available. And yes, he'll forgive us. But God did not send his son Jesus to die for our sins, for us to live in sin. And this is what this is the deception. And I'm seeing these comments everywhere that we can't earn salvation that God has already died for our that Jesus died for our sins and that's all we need to do is to believe in God and Jesus and it's all good people you can there's a lot of people that believe in God and they went to hell and that scripture in the Bible that parable that Jesus told is perfect when he says that there'll be many many that was a Lord Lord who will stand before God and say that they they cast out devils and they they they've 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 done all this and that. And the Lord to tell them, I never knew you depart from me. There's a lot of people. Now, these according to that parable, that person believed in God. But they didn't have a relationship, people. Let me give you another example for for those people that tell you that just believe in God and that's it. Uh uh. Mm -mm. That 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 isn't enough. You must have a relationship and have a repentant heart and strive for holiness. The Bible clearly states we all know that sin is sin. And there's a bunch of sins, all of all sin, all sin. God hates all sin, all of it. 
But the Bible clearly states that adulterers and adulterers and fornicators will not enter into the kingdom of God. Now, let me stop there because I have to teach you the deception of the enemy. Then when these grace people tell you all you have to do is just believe in God and believe in what Jesus did at Calvary and you're OK. All right. So to that fornicator, to that adulterer or that liar that's living in that sin and have no chance, have no um, desire to repent, according to the word of God, that person that is living is a fornicator living in that. The Bible clearly states they will not enter into the kingdom of God. So people, if you want to chance it and, 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 and gamble with your soul's salvation, I wouldn't do it. It's not worth it. Mm -mm. There are too many people that are telling you it is okay to live in sin. It is okay to feed yourself this evil entertainment. It's okay, God. You know, Jesus died for your sins. It's okay. Listen, God hates sin. Why would a God that hates sin who sent his son to die for your sin be okay with you living in sin and then receiving you into his kingdom when you leave earth? That is not of God. Just because Jesus died for our sins, it does not give us the privilege to live in sin and enjoy the evil pleasures in this world and still have the audacity to believe that we are going to reign with God. I wish I had a whole week to teach this. You cannot live in sin of, of this world and think that you're going to reign with God. Because you heard some grace and mercy preachers tell you, just believe in God and that's it. Mm -mm, that's not how it works. And I'm seeing a whole lot of that, particularly from a, 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 a certain demographic of people. I see that because I pay attention to trends a whole lot. And I'm seeing that coming from a certain demographic of people that who believe that just believe in what Jesus did. And that's it. And they teach that. God loves them. God loves everybody, people, but he hates sin. And I'm and I'm wondering why is that just in this one demographic of people who believe that? Who believe that preaching righteousness is a works based uh, approach? No, uh, -uh. the Bible clearly states. That present our bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is our reasonable service. These, these are the things that would, 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 would guarantee you to enter into the kingdom of God as you walk away from this evil entertainment in this world. Number one, you must have a relationship with God through his son, Jesus, a hunger for holiness and prayer and Bible study people. And be a witness to those lost in sin and have a repentant heart. I'm going to say it again. You must have a relationship with God through his son, Jesus, and a repentant heart. A hunger for holiness. A hunger to hate sin because God hates sin. God's spirit will teach you how to study his word. He'll teach you how to fast and how to pray. We must live into position, into alignment with God on a daily basis. We must walk away from the evil entertainment in this world. The Bible says, do not love this world. And I'm very gifted in my spirit because there are so many of you. You love this world. You love your secular music. You love these evil TV shows because you don't want to be the oddball out. You don't want to tell people that, yeah, I no longer watch that show anymore because you don't want to feel left out. I'd rather be rejected and be in the will of God. Then be accepted by man and be on my way to hell. Some of you have told yourself, I can't stop watching these shows. I can't stop watching these movies. I'm not going to have anything, anything to discuss with, with my friends and family. Walk away from it. God is calling for you to walk away now because he loves you people. He loves you so much. Walk away from this evil content immediately and don't go back to it ever again. I'm a living witness. It's not going to be easy in your flesh, but through the spirit of God, you can overcome. That dream is clear indication. It is clear evidence of what evil content does to your soul. 
these devils and evil spirits are obsessed with us, with destroying us and dragging us right into hell to burn with them. Don't be a victim. Don't add to the devil's body count. Do not add to the devil's body count. Because if you're focused on the things of God, you don't even have to worry about going to hell. Hell should be an afterthought. When you love God, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. I felt that when you love God and you have a desire to please God and to be into position and into alignment with God, hell should, should rally up across your mind. And the only time it should is if you to be concerned for other people who are lost and tell them about God. But when you are in position and to alignment with God and you love God and you have no desire for the evil things in this world, you're praying, you're living holy, you're 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 walking from sin, you're letting God deal with you, you have a prayer life, you're fasting, you're in Bible study, you're being a witness, you are in the perfect position with God, and God will help you remain there as you desire to be free and delivered from this evil world. Walk away from the evil devices in this world. In my closing, I encourage each and every last one of you to walk away from the evil things in this world. Some of you need to uninstall apps off your phone. That is not of God. That is a distraction. I've done it. Several apps I won't even install again. Mm -mm. Because my soul is more important. My soul and being in position with God is more important than pleasing my flesh. Many of you need to pray and ask God to help you to deny your flesh, deny your flesh. A lot of times we talk about the enemy. Some of you, your, your flesh is your adversary as well. You, the evil part of us that does not want to have anything to do with God. The word clearly states those that, 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 that are after the spirit, mind the things of the spirit. Those that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh. To live after the flesh leads to death, but to live after the spirit is life and peace. Ask yourself, what's, what's more important? A relationship with God or the evil pleasures in, of, of demonic entertainment in this world? That, that dream clearly states, it feels good to your flesh. It seems innocent, but in the end... These evil spirits will capture you and put you in bondage and it will take the power of God to, to break it. Amen. And I declare a hunger for holiness in your life. In Jesus name, I declare that you will trash all of your secular music in Jesus name. I declare that you will trash all of your, uh, that you will walk away from evil TV shows and evil movies in Jesus name, evil books evil video games in Jesus name. I declare that you will get serious about the things of God. Hallelujah. I declare genuine repentance and for you to get back into position and go back to your first love and get back into alignment with God in Jesus name. And I declare every evil spirit, every evil spirit that would have you being worldly and being lukewarm and being religious and living in sin is located in the spirit and cast out by the consuming fire of God and the blood of Jesus and cast out away from you and your family's life in Jesus name. I declare that, that, that the consuming fire of God would disconnect you and your family from the evil devices in this world in Jesus name and that you would get an appetite for holiness, an appetite for righteousness, an appetite for, for those things that are of God and that you would hate sin just as God hates sin and that you would inherit the likeness of God and fulfill the spiritual assignment that God has placed in your life in Jesus name, I declare that you will get serious, serious about the things of God and that you would understand that what God has for you is greater 
than what the enemy has for you in this world. In the mighty name of Jesus, I, I declare deliverance, spiritual deliverance and breakthrough in your life. And the chains of worldliness is broken and cast out of your life right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. That is the word of the Lord on this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I hope and pray that something was said or mentioned that would make a spiritual impact in you and your family's life. Amen. Thank you so much for dropping by the Deliverance and Breakthrough channel. And I will continue to put up spiritual content as the Lord leads. And uh, until next time, always remember that no weapon formed against you or your family shall prosper. Amen. Continue to be safe. Keep God first. And until next time, enjoy your weekend. God bless.